out with 27 trophies won. Nigeria's junior tennis player Ndidi Osaji will be participating in the ITF CAT tournament holding in Abuja between May and June 2023. But she was Nigeria's and West Africa's only representative at the ITF CAF under 18 under 14 tournament in Uganda as well as Angola. Our correspondent Mian Akiri tells us more about her. 13-year-old sensation Indidi Osaji has continued her rise on the cuts, representing Nigeria in four international tournaments so far in 2023. The Lagos-based player has won various junior tournaments in Nigeria and featured in the ITF Confederation of African Tennis on the 14 tournaments in Egypt, Togo, Uganda and Angola. A performance at the ITF CAT tournament in which Angola was hosting for the first time and playing in two doubles finals and winning the gold and also runners-up in singles shot her up to number 21 ranked player in Africa and making her the second highest ranked under 14 player in the country and West Africa. My latest ranking, um, I'm very happy about it because I know that I'm improving um, every step and it just encourages me more, one step at a time, to becoming Africa's best player. The 13-year-old hopes to participate in the CAT ITF on the 18th tournament coming up in Abuja. It's going to be very challenging playing the under-18 on category as a 13-year-old. But I believe in myself and I know I'll go really find the tournament, if not win. But, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Ndidi Osaji started playing tennis at the age of two and has participated in various USTA tournaments in the US and Champions Bowl in Croatia. And she says she hopes to succeed like the legendary Serena Williams. My favorite um, tennis player is Serena Williams. And um, she really inspired me over the years. And... Her mindset, her body, her championship spirit, her sportsmanship um, has really made a big impact in my tennis. With small support, Indidi, who started tennis at the age of two, could see her dreams come true by playing in the junior and senior Grand Slams in the future. Mianakiri, TVC News, Lagos.